I have a neighbor who always, okay, I'm being exaggerating, not always, but like at least once, twice, three times a week, she's knocking on my door asking me if I know where her key is. If I have one of her keys, maybe another neighbor has a key, she can't find her key. I'm not talking about someone who got locked out of the apartment and so therefore needs a key. I'm someone who is in her apartment and every time it seems that she wants to leave the apartment, she can't remember where she put her key. And she's thinking that maybe she gave it to somebody. So mind you, I have this brilliant idea and I am always trying to help her look for her key, going into her apartment, looking for her key in her own home. And I thought, okay, I'll get her one of these like key racks and she can hang it up there. And mind you, she has a key rack. She just doesn't put it back. So it's a very, it's, it's a hard situation. It's, it's, it's sad. And she's always panicking. She can't find her key. So this week also, I opened the door and there's my neighbor in a panic that she can't find the key asking me, do I have her key? And I didn't have time to help her look for it. But I knew she had it and it was in her home. And it made me think about something, about keys. Like, we're always looking for the key to something. The key to success, the key to happiness, the key to fortune, the key to love, the key to everything. And what we don't realize is that actually we ourselves hold that key. The key is inside of us. And especially the key to happiness, which is something that I know right now, in the situation right now, it's more difficult, it's more challenging to tap into that key and be the one to open up the door to your own happiness as so much is going around us. But when we realize that no matter what is going around me, the true key to happiness is within inside of me, we can tap into our simcha, our happiness. And as we enter the month of Adar, and the sages teach us that the moment we enter the month of Adash, we're supposed to augment in our simcha. How can we do this with all that's going around? We can do it by tapping in to our key, in tapping into inside of us, tapping into knowing that I am the holder of my key, and the key is, in, is inside of me. And later that day, I went and I was at lunch, I was sitting with the students. And what did I do? We were painting, actually, at the lunchtime, and I made myself a key. Yes, I actually painted a key, kind of like an impressionist and realist sort of key. And um, I did that because I want to remind myself that I am the only one who holds the key to my happiness, and that key is inside of me. Chodesh Tov.